Hello friends, I am here once again in front of you with the new topic Unitary Method, exercise 8.3. Now Unitary Method, it is a process in which we find the value of 1 and then we evaluate whatever they have asked for. For instance, sum number 1, if the cost of 9 meter cloth is rupees 378, find the cost of 4 meter cloth. So the statement will be cost of 9 meters cloth is equal to rupees 378. Therefore, cost of 1 meter cloth. As I told you, in unitary method, we have to first find the value of 1, always. So, in that case, no doubt the amount will be less. The amount will be less. In that case, we have to divide this. Okay? So, that is coming down to rupees 42 per meter. Now, after evaluating the value of 1 meter of the cloth, now we have to find the cost of 4 meter. It's very easy. Therefore, cost of 4 meters cloth will be... Now, let me uh, remind you once again, 9 meter, whatever it costed, no doubt 1 meter cloth will cost less. In that case, we have divided. But now, after, when we have the value of 1 meter of cloth, and now we have to find the value of 4 meter of cloth, no doubt the amount will be more. In that case, we will multiply. So, 4 meter into 42. That is coming down to rupees 168. So, the cost of 4 meters of cloth is rupees 168. This is the answer. Now, sum number 2. The weight of 36 books is 12 kg. What is the weight of 75 such books? So let us frame the statement. Cost of 36 books is equal to 12 kg. Sorry friends, I made a mistake. It will be weight of. I am extremely sorry. Weight of 36 books is equal to 12 kg. Therefore, weight of one book no doubt it will be lighter that means the amount will be less that means we have to divide so 12 divide by 36 that will come down to 1 by 3 kg now we will find the value of the weight of 75 such books therefore weight of 75 books will be no doubt that will be more than the weight of one book that means we have to multiply so 1 by 3 into 75 3 ones are 3 25 that is 25 kgs is the answer now we will Proceed to sum number 3. 5 pence cost rupees 115. How many pence can you buy in rupees 207? Number 3. 5 pence cost rupees 115. Therefore, one pen will cost 
115 by 5. So after reducing it to the lowest term, we get rupees 23, the cost of 1 pen. Now, pens brought for rupees 207 is equal to 207 by 23. Now since 23 is a prime number, it is not divisible by any other number. So we have to divide 207 by 23 itself. So 23 ones are 23, 23 nines are 207. That means we can buy 9 pens from rupees 207. This is the answer. Now, sum number 4. A car consumes 8 liter of petrol in covering a distance of 100 km. How many kilometer will it travel in 26 liters of petrol? So, in 8 liters a car travels 100 km. Therefore, in 1 liter a car travels 100 by 8. So now, in how many, how many kilometer will it travel in 26 liter? So, uh, dear friends, there are two ways of evaluating. Either we reduce it here or we can do this part later on. I'll show you how. Therefore, in 26 liters, it travels 100 by 8 into 26. Now, let me explain you once again. 100 by 8 is the value of 1 liter. We can reduce it here itself or we can write this value here and multiply. The answer will be the same. So now let us reduce 2, 4, 2, 1, 3. 4, 25, 100. So now let us multiply 25 into 13. 3, 5 is a 15, 2 is a 6, 7, 5, 1 is equal to 3, 25 kilometers in 26 liters. This is the answer.